My name is Lori Kahikina, Director of Environmental Services. And what you have behind me is a major sewage backup of our Ala Moana gravity line. It's a 69 inch diameter. And in all the history, we have never backed up this line. What I can explain to you is when the heavy rains, it overwhelmed our system. Um, when the storm water gets in, it's not supposed to, as most of you know, there's two different systems, storm water and wastewater. And when the storm water gets in, it overwhelms us. We're the collection system, the pump stations, the plants are not designed to take this excess flow. What exacerbated the situation was the construction project that was going on. Uh, it's a consent decree project. We're installing two brand new force mains, Ala Moana force mains three and four, that go under Honolulu Harbor to the treatment plant from our pump station down at the Goldbond building. Now we have two pump stations there, Ala Moana pump station one, Ala Moana pump station two. Ala Moana pump station one, all four pumps were running, one flickered off and then we got it back online but it still wasn't enough to handle the excess flow. We normally put on Ala Moana pump station two but we could not because of the construction. There is a T, uh, con the contractor is working in a Venturi vault, there is a T there and one side of the T was open so if we use that part of the force main, all of the flow would have come out at the pump station. So our contractor put the blind flange on, and since then we were able to turn on pump station number two. So that's what subsided all of the flow over here, and my crews are cleaning up over here at Atkinson, Ala Moana Beach Park, and also at Keabe where our pump station is. So all I can do is apologize to the public. This is unheard of, unprecedented. We have never spilled from the Ala Moana 69 inch. And with that, I'm open to questions. Lori, what's your best estimate on the amount of sewage over there? Uh, we still need to calculate that, but we think we're well over 500,000 gallons. And is, are we over the, you know, the crisis? Yes, we are. So the flow has stopped coming out of the manholes. We are, my crews are cleaning up right now. They have a lot of work more to, to do to clean and disinfect, but we are prepared. If the rain comes again, that blind flange is installed, so we should not have another spill. The excess rain coming in, of course, all the leaves and debris clogged the, the storm drains. So the water, excess water flew, you know, flooded all over the place. But there was also witnesses of people popping manhole covers. It is illegal to pop manhole covers to drain the storm water into the sewer system. If we find people do, doing that, it is a $32,000 fine for each incident. So that exacerbated the system too, with all the storm water coming in. Why would someone do that? To, to drain the area. So let's say your home is ponding in, your, in your, your, your yard and you have a storm drain right outside. You know, natural is, I don't want my house to flood with, with rainwater, so I'm gonna pop that manhole. I don't think people realize there's two systems, storm water and sewage. When you pop that, that sewage manhole, you're going into the sewage system and it overwhelms it. Uh, we have decided to uh, close down Ala Moana uh, Park as well as Magic Island today until further notice. Um, we'll wait until ENV um, cleans it up, has a complete cleanup, and then gives us the go ahead and we'll open it up again. The Department of Health is going to require us every time there's a major spill that goes into the waterways, we do have to sample. So we already, uh, ENV staff is posting signs over here. The lifeguards, bless them, have started already closing down the beaches on the Waikiki side, putting up signs. Uh, let me clarify closing of the beaches. All we can do is warn. We do not have the enforcement to actually stop someone from going in the water, but we're asking the public, please use your common sense, whether it's sewage, brown water from the storm drains, it's not clean, now's not the time to go swimming into the beaches. So we are sampling, we submit the sample data to Department of Health, they're the ones who give us a clean bill of health and then we can reopen. We want to make, sh make it clear that everybody knows that this can be dangerous. There is risk of infection. So please stay out of the water at least for the next couple of days or until we get the okay to go in. Don't take the risk. There, we don't know right now what is in the water. You could get a serious infection, get extremely sick or even worse. So please, at this time, listen to the lifeguards. So there's a 24 hour turnaround time. Once we take the sample submitted to the Department of Health, they're, they're gonna be the ones to see if the numbers are low enough. And then if not, we have to take another set of samples. So I'm assuming at least a couple of days before we can um, safely go back in.